In OpenRoads Concept Station, we have the ability to display lane markings that will come from a predefined library, but we also have the ability to have customized lane markings. Um, this is done through an XML file, uh, so this would need to be more of a advanced user level uh, editing because it is editing and manipulating an XML file type. Once this XML file is created, customized, um, it can be used in the seed file to kind of de determine a custom lane marking or custom lane markings that you can specify for use with certain projects or within your organization. So let's take a quick look at some uh, lane striping. So I'm just going to use this one-way white as the pattern. So I'm going to specify my road alignment. Then I'm going to identify my start station, and identify my end station, and you'll see that it adds in that patterning uh, on this alignment. But we also have the ability to edit and create this from an XML file if you have a customized uh, lane markings or uh, striping that you want to use. So I'm going to show where that is edited from. So I'm going to open up my uh, file explorer, C drive. Program Files, Bentley, Open Roads Concept Station, Connect Edition, Concept Station, and then under Default, you'll see we have these XML samples. Inside this XML samples, we have uh, custom speed tables, but we also have this, um, this striping XML file. So I'm going to open this, and I'm going to open this with an XML pad just so we can see it in a little bit better layout or format. Okay, and so you can see that within this XML file, um, it's coded has a very good description of what each of these components are, uh, how they're defined. So we can specify lengths, we can specify spacing, widths, and offsets. But as you scroll down, you see we have different options for the patterns. These are the, the values that you can use. So when you define your lane placement, um, so these are the predefined values. Then you have ramp placement and roundabouts. So then as you drill down in here, you have the different options. So you see this is an XML-based format where you can edit and, and use these to create your custom uh, stripe definitions so they can be used in Concept Station. So I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to open that XML file in Concept Station. So I'm going to go to the import. I'm going to go to the other files, add data. And I'm going to browse to that location uh, that we just went to, the XML samples, and I'm going to open up our striping XML. When I say open, and then I'm going to step through next, I'm going to import and say done. Now, when I want to go and display uh, some lane striping, I can click on this. You'll see I now have this samples folder. So this was what was created once I imported that XML. So we're going to use this sample lane striping pattern, and I'm going to just select that same road, and then I'm going to select kind of the same stations, and you'll see that instead of it being a white center, if I zoom in, it's actually a yellow stripe. So this is how that sample center line is defined, be a yellow stripe line, but that can be edited through the XML file for your custom lane markings.